the course that you're currently looking at is one of the, the blue courses, one of the courses out of the blue section, and it's about controllers. So with controllers, I refer to all the equipment, all the hardware that is necessary to connect your photovoltaic modules with your loads, whatever you're doing. If you're feeding back into the grid, if you're feeding your power to batteries, if you're feeding it straight to your loads, but all the components that are in between your photovoltaic modules and the loads. And within this section, we'll look at the photovoltaic controllers, all the different controllers that are out there, what they actually do, what their advantages are, and how you can optimize their use. Then, of course, we'll also look at inverters. So we'll look at grid tied inverters, the hybrid inverters, the battery inverters, the inverter chargers. So everything related to inverters, how they work, how they operate, and what their pros and cons are. And we'll also briefly touch on the, um, the grid meters. So how do grid meters actually work? How do they interact between the grid and your system? And very importantly, we'll look at the different financial models that are out there. I'll show you how they work, how they operate, and how you will be built for your interaction with the grid. My name is Jesse. I'm an energy engineer and I've got a master of engineering degree in sustainable and renewable energy engineering with more than 15 years of experience in the field. I'm really excited to share this course with you because I believe that it can provide you with very valuable information that you can use to your advantage. I am assuming that you have little to no pre-existing knowledge in the field of grid tight solar energy systems and throughout the course I will discuss all the small, all the different components of a grid tight solar energy systems step by step. I've organized the course in a very structured way. And what I've done is I've created all small mini topics. So you can learn in whichever way you prefer. You can start at the beginning of the course and just follow it A to Z. Or you can select which mini topics you want to learn about. So if you're starting somewhere and then you come across the topics which you're less interested in, you can just skip the video lesson and go straight to the next mini topic. The format of the course is fairly consistent throughout. So most of the times what I'm doing when we start a certain mini topic, say this is the theory, ABC is what you need to know. Then I'll take you to the whiteboard and I'll support, I'll further explain the theory with visual representations because I believe this is a very easy way in order to fully comprehend a certain topic. And then once we've done that, we often go online and I'll show you examples of products or services uh, that are related to the theory which we have just discussed. Right, so the format is always, I'll give you the information, we'll go to the whiteboard with visual support, and then often we go online and I'll give you examples of what we have just discussed. I'm also giving you plenty of opportunity to test whether you have absorbed the knowledge throughout the course. So every five to 10 minutes, we often interrupt the, the course material and we have small multiple choice questions. The questions are always optional. You don't have to do the small test. You can just skip through the test and go straight to the next video lecture if that is what you prefer. The course that you're currently looking at is actually part of a larger framework of courses because the first courses, the blue ones, they really focus on the concepts, on the technical side, on all the options or all the advantages and disadvantages of the different technology that is out there. And the last section, the red courses, they really dive really deep into the course material. So they really go into calculations and the numbers and the formulas. And I've, I've built this network of courses so you can decide yourself in which areas you want to educate yourself. Now, I'm really excited to offer this course to you. I am convinced that it provides a really high quality source of information. It is unbiased, it is direct, without any fluff. It comes in a format which is really easy to digest. Now, of course, I'm slightly biased because I made the course, but I can honestly tell you that I wish that somebody would have made this course when I started in the solar industry years back. So if you're ready to start soaking up all the information, press on whichever button you need to press in order to enroll in the course. You can also browse through the course description where I've written down all the material or the content that we'll discuss in this course. You might also be interested in watching some of the sample videos so you get a bit more of an impression of what the course is actually about.